September favourites video. Uh, if you don't know, at the moment we are currently on our honeymoon in Florida and this is our place in Florida, hence why it looks different. And if you're wondering, those are up there, those are our characters that I've had done over the years. Um, I'll just pan you up so you can see them. So those are all the ones that I've had done over the years. Darren and I did get one done this time of the two of us um i will insert a picture of what that looks like um but i wanted to come on and just update you on my favorites um of some of the things i've been loving whilst we're out here i haven't really had time to sit down and record a vlog like properly or like sit down and record any videos so i'm finally getting to it today so hopefully everything's all right and it's not too echoey because i am filming in the lounge so Let's start with the obvious. The main favourite of September has obviously been our wedding. Uh, we got married on the 17th in Las Vegas. I'm actually going to get down to record a separate wedding video with me in a minute talking about that. But obviously we had an amazing time, it was literally, I know everyone says oh, it's the best day of my life but I couldn't have asked for a better wedding day um, and it was really really fun um, and it was lovely because it was like just us and like our parents so it was really really intimate there were only six of us um and yeah we really enjoyed it um but like i said we'll do a separate wedding like post wedding video um but obviously one of my favorites from that has been my wedding ring so there's my engagement ring and then that is the ring underneath um it's just weird now to just say that I'm married it's weird um another favorite has been my watch Darren and I both got each other watches as our wedding presents um we both knew that we ordered the ones we wanted um this and um, they're both from Fossil um this is my one I don't know what the model is but I will link everything I can down below so this is what it looks like so it's a square face with that sort of mother of pearl screen to it. It's got um, diamonds or Swarovski around the outside and then you can get them engraved. Um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, if you will be able to at all. Um, but you can kind of see there's an engraving on the back there. And mine says, to my wife, I love you, and then the day of our wedding. And Darren says, to my husband, I love you, and the day of our wedding. So that's like our little gifts to each other. Um, but yeah, we'll go more in depth about that in the wedding video. Um, so I think that's all for jewellery. Um, I've also been wearing these pearl earrings ever since our wedding day. Um, I'm not quite sure where I got these from. They're quite big ones. My mum got them for me, I think, for... A birthday or Christmas must have been Christmas and I've just put them away for our wedding they went perfectly for the day um, but I've just not really bothered to put anything else in uh, so let's move on to makeup I've got three items to show you and they're all lip products shocker and the first one is the lipstick that I thought I was going to actually wear on our wedding day and that is by Smashbox and this is in the colour Bad Mood and it is my typical sort of berry colour that is what it looks like I'll insert a little swatch of that um, but yeah it's just a typical berry really creamy to go on um, I didn't end up wearing it for the wedding but I've been wearing it a lot since just as like my everyday colour um, I've really been enjoying wearing that and then the other combination is what I'm wearing on my lips right now and this is what was put on me for my wedding trial and I ended up wearing it on my wedding day um, so obviously I had to buy the items I actually only bought the lipstick the lip liner I got for free um, as well as a blush um, it was like a free gift that it came with in our trial so um, the first product is the lip liner and they're both by Kevin Aquan that's what they use at Caesars Palace for their makeup in the salon um, I've never tried any of their products um, I'd heard obviously of the brand but I've never tried them I've never actually even seen them in person um, but this is a lip pencil the flesh tone lip pencil in minimal and 
it is just a nude colour. Again, I'll insert a swatch. Um, but I'm, I've never used a lip liner before until I was given this for free. And I really have been enjoying using it. I don't know if I would go out and repurchase it again. Um, but I have definitely been lining my lips more when I'm wearing this lipstick. So I don't know if that's got something to do with it. Um, but again, I don't know if I would actively go out and buy lip pencils. It's just not something that I, I tend to use in my routine. And then... Uh, the lipstick I'm wearing is gorgeous. I love this. This is the colour Twilight Lotus. And it says it's a mauve colour, which it totally is. It's that, it's like that mauve almost like a, with like a lilac undertone to it. Um, it's super, super pretty. It looks really, really dark, but it is just super gorgeous. It's probably not something I would have picked up. Um, but as soon as she put it on, I knew that was the colour for our wedding day. It's like, just gives you that really vintage feel. And if you tend to go for those sort of berry colours, like those dark colours, it's just something slightly different. So I've really been enjoying that. Um, another favourite is I've literally been wearing my hair like this for three quarters of the holiday, I would say. Like, just curling it. Um, I think I included it in my last favourites with my conical wand. That's from... Babyliss, I want to say. This is just the easiest hairstyle to do out here with the humidity, because um, your hair goes frizzy anyway, so you might as well start off with a frizzy hairstyle. Um, and it just, it seems to keep the curls in a lot longer. Even when they drop, it still looks nicer. That's what I've been wearing my hair like. Um, I'll move on to sort of like body and fragrance. So the first one I want to mention is a deodorant. Um, I always go for roll-on deodorants. I find that I just feel like like I'm actually putting deodorant on when I have a roll-on rather than a spray. Um, and also I tend to get like, I don't have asthma or anything, but I tend to get really affected by sprays, um, like the aerosols. So this is what I picked up on a whim. I, for ages I've been using a Dove like black and white one um which is just not supposed to show up on your clothes but i mean it does anyway and i just started to find that it wasn't lasting as long as i wanted um so i tried this and this smells amazing this is the dove go fresh pear and aloe vera scent and it's very unusual for me to include a deodorant in my favorites because i've been using the same one all the time it smells super good like really fruity and fresh and you feel like you're actually putting something nice and scented on and that scent just lasts. So I've really been enjoying that. And then the next three products are all from Jo Malone and this is sort of like my body care regime that I've been doing for the past month. Um, obviously I wanted to get in tip top form for the wedding and have something really special that I could use on the day and in the honeymoon so when I use it in future it brings me back to this time. Um, so I'll start off with the stuff I'm using in the shower. Uh, this is the Jo Malone Lime Basil and Mandarin Exfoliating Shower Gel. Um, I bought this, oh, I don't know if I'd repurchase it again because I'm not often one to use a shower exfoliant or exfoliants in general um i just go in and use shower gel and that's that um but when me and my mum went for like a hand and arm massage at the jo malone um that's near and john lewis and she tried this on and our skin just felt amazing and this smells super nice i've just taken this out of the shower so hopefully it's not too wet but it just smells really, really good and smells really nice in combination with the scent that I chose for my wedding. Um, but your skin just, not only does it feel really smooth, it looks smooth, it looks like sort of, like it glistens um, and your skin does feel really soft and it just helps to absorb the scent in of the rest of your products. So I really like that. But again, I don't know, I don't tend to use it every day. Um, I don't know if it's something I would buy again for myself, but I would happily receive it as a gift. And then in conjunction with that, I've been using the uh, the body and hand wash, um, which is the 
in the English Pear and Freesia and English Pear and Freesia is actually the scent I used for my wedding. Um, so I've been using the shower gel and the perfume and this is what I've been wearing constantly. I'd, I haven't brought another perfume out here with me because I knew I'd just be wearing this. Um, really like the shower gel, it just smells really nice and again it helps keep that scent on you and you you smell it for the rest of the day, I really like it. It just smells so good and even though it's got that freezer in it, I'm not one for floral scents but this is beautiful. It almost smells like um, like a really nice champagne or a really nice fruity cider. That is what it smells like. I mean, you're not going to put it on your body and then think, oh, that smells like cider or something. Like, no one's going to think that of you, but that is what I get. Um, and it's just super sweet, um, but obviously not... If It's not, like, typical really f sweet scents because of that freesia. I really, really like it. Um, and that's what I've been wearing. We'll move on to accessories now. So I've been wearing these sunglasses pretty much all of the holiday. Obviously there are necessity here in Florida um, and these are um, pretty dirty at the moment. But these are my Red or Dead 97 sunglasses. Um, they are a brown tortoise shell. That's what they look like on the side and I've got brown lenses in them um, obviously these have got my prescription in them but I love them I think they're really sort of like they've almost got that cat wing effect to them so they look really sort of vintage um, like old Hollywood glamour I really really like them um, they have got polarizing lenses in them um, which is good and bad it's good for like driving and things like that but crap if you want to look at your phone um and like a tablet and sometimes it it can affect different windows but it's good if you're like out in a theme park all day or at a water park um and obviously they're good for sport fishing sailing driving is probably the main reason i got the polarizing um but yeah i've really been enjoying those sunglasses the next accessory is a hat that i bought um, to get sent out here before we came away and it is my always more hat this is the burgundy or like the claret um, dad hat that's sort of what they call it and um, Audrey Roloff um, from Little People Big World is the person that started this always more campaign um, and it's basically um, to just sort of sum up what it is like there's always more that you can give. Um, in her sense, she takes it as there's always more that you can do for God and that sort of thing. I'm not that religious, so, um, but she always also takes it in the sense there's always more that you can do like for your other half. And that's the kind of way that I like to look at it. Um, and that there's, there's always more that you can do, always more laughter, always, just there's always more fun to be had. And so that's the way I sort of interpret it. Um, but I've really been loving this hat. I'm not one for baseball hats. Um, and it looks slightly funky with my hair at the moment because it's like on a second day. This is what I've been wearing around the pool all the time. It fits really nicely. They are adjustable at the back. Um, but I, it just fits really snugly on my head. And um, I love the colour of it. They do it in like a green a blue and like a, a dark grey black um but yeah i've really been liking it and i love the, the lettering on it as well so that's what i've been wearing i'm not usually a hat person but i have been wearing that and then my bag favorite for this month again was another item i purchased to be sent out here before we came away and um i've just stumbled across this on youtube and i'm probably going to do a separate video sort of doing a more in-depth review about it but this is my um lug bag so lug is the name of the brand they sell it primarily on qvc out here in america um but you can buy it obviously off the actual website um and this is the carousel bag so the main reason i chose it is because you can wear it as a bum bag and that is what i've been doing or a fanny pack if you're in america um you can wear it as crossbody as well which is great that you've got that versatility 
but I've been wearing it as a bum bag most of the time and I have loved that. Like I am bringing back the bum bag in full force. Um, just like, especially like in theme parks, it's amazing to like feel like, in the past couple of years, I've always been the one with the big backpack um, with all my cameras in and just, I get all these digging in marks on my shoulder and I'm always complaining that it's heavy and it's my own fault. Um, and this is just perfect because I can fit my camera that I'm vlogging on now. I can fit my like Fujifilm Insects camera. I can fit my sunglasses. I do take them out of the case, but I can fit my sunglasses, my phone, extra battery, memory cards, my money, my lipstick, that sort of thing. And it is amazing how much you can actually get in it. Um, like I said, I will do a full review on it, um, but like you can fit a lot in there and I've really been enjoying it. So my final two favourites are book favourites and let's see, I'm going to do like a full end of holiday like wrap up and review video but I thought I'd just include the two that I've especially enjoyed already. Uh, the first one is by Leanne Moriarty who did Big Little Lies and this is the book Truly Madly Guilty. Um, again it's of that same concept, there's about six um, people within the storyline and you know that something's gone on and you don't know what and it sort of flits back and forth between present day and um, the day of the event which we know something happened at this barbecue um, so it flits between the day and the morning leading up to the barbecue and then afterwards but afterwards they don't talk about what the actual event was you just are seeing how they're re like how they've had to deal with what happened from that event, if you get what I mean. Um, and then towards the end, once we know what the event is, they obviously talk about it a bit more. Um, again, I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, I think Leanne Moriarty has a really clever way of writing and I definitely want to read some of the rest of her books. Um, so yeah, that was the first one. And then the second one is the one that I've just finished. And this is The Seller by Natasha Preston. She wrote this book on Wattpad, which I guess is like an online book writing place, platform. Um, but I picked this up over here in America and I really enjoyed the, the concept of the book. It's very much like the film and the book Room where a man has kept hostage people. Um, it's about a guy that keeps four girls in his cellar. Um, he calls them his family and it's about their time down in this cellar. After I read this I did look on Goodreads to see what other people were thinking of it. There's very mixed reviews. I really enjoyed it and I enjoyed the writing. Um, I'm not one to go too in depth with the writing style. Um, some people can analyse it really really well but I just I don't have that capacity I guess you could say. Um, and some people really really hated it. They thought it was a poor representation of the situation and um, thought the writing was very poor but I really enjoyed it um, so everyone you're not gonna please everyone and I liked it so um, she does have a couple of other books which I think are of a similar vein I want to say um, so I'll probably read those again one thing that I will mention about this this book is set in England, but it doesn't use British terminology. Like, right at the start it says, oh, it was like a, a grey British day. And I was like, oh, cool, we're set in Britain. That's something different. Like, when I buy a book out here, it's always set in America. Um, but then it was like, she said elementary school. That is not a word that we use here in Britain. We would call it primary school, infant school, or junior school. Um, so instantly that threw me off and there was just a couple a couple words here and there that I was like that's not a British term and it it kind of makes you jump back a bit and think like you're not as involved into the storyline it's like you can tell that an American author has tried to put this in a different country but hasn't quite researched the exact language they should use um, 
So that's sort of something that put me off. I don't actually even know if Natasha Preston is British or American. I'm assuming she's American because she hasn't used the correct terminology. Um, it would be weird for her to use American words just to suit an audience, even when it's set in Britain. So that's just my two cents. So the silent item is pretty creased, uh, but it is my dressing gown that I wore on the morning of our wedding and I've been wearing it a lot out here um, because it's really thin it like you can put it on and not feel hot um, but you can still feel covered up and sometimes it does get a little bit chilly with the aircon in here so um, I've been enjoying just sort of throwing this on of an evening as well um, I got this off not on the high street I believe um, I'm not overly impressed with like the lettering on the back I feel like it's gonna come off quite soon which is annoying because it took a while and for the price of it I would have expected slightly better quality but the robe itself is what sort of drew me to it and I really liked so it's just a cotton robe on the back it's got misses in this shiny foiling um, again I thought this was going to be slightly more glittery rather than foil um, but oh well and then on the front it's got wifey and the date we got married if you can see that but I really liked it because it's got this sort of lace on the sleeve and at the bottom it does get really really creased so just bear that in mind if you're wanting to um, get this for your wedding day um, and you need to pack it to travel with it bear in mind it's gonna definitely need a wash and an iron at some point because it does get really really wrinkled um, but those are my September favourites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry there's been such a delay in my videos. Um, it's just, I've been blogging all the time. It's just I haven't had the chance to really sit down and upload something. And to be honest, I've not really wanted to because I'm just trying to relax. Um, and that's been really nice as well to sort of take that step back from like social media. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and grab Darren soon so we can... Uh, record a wedding video but he is currently having a nap so we'll see how that goes but yeah I hope you enjoyed this stay tuned for some exciting holiday related videos coming up soon including all the vlogs um, just bear with me that they'll probably take a little bit of a while to come out um, but yeah I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you soon bye guys